Man, I told y'all to stay off of Tinder, baby. All right, this British Tinder swindler uh, pleads guilty after a woman scammed out of 157K. Frank Adozi has been sentenced to four years in jail, man, bro. Why you got to do it, man? Listen, okay. He, he has been jailed for four years after conning a woman out of 157K. All right, I think that's in euros or something like that in a romance. Sam. I don't know what the heck that. Uh, <laughs> but Frank Adozi, 32 from Nottingham, pleaded guilty on Friday to false representation after using dating sites to dupe women out of money. Okay, so it's talking about stuff like, um, hold on, Tinder, the top dating 2000. Okay, so <clears throat> we have Hinge. We have Mads, Raya, Bumble. I never even heard of a Raya. We have something called her, J-Swipe, and we have Tinder. Damn, Tinder came all the way down here. But the thing is this, man, the security on these sites are super low. You can steal anybody's profile. You can steal anybody's images from some other site. Uh, they don't really all require, you can do video verification and get more benefits and stuff, but they don't require you to video verify, which some sites do, but maybe some of these dating sites should, especially since people be coming up missing and all of that stuff too. That's way worse than just getting scammed out of some money. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, dang, man. There's jobs out here and there's businesses you can start. You ain't got to do it. All right. But anyway, <clears throat> so if I were you, I would stay off of all of these dating sites. It's not lawful to date anyway in the Bible. You're supposed to be courting your future husband and uh, this would not happen. Okay. So live by the Bible and you will stay safe and you will keep money in your wallets as well, guys. Uh, not blaming this on her because she is the victim. Um, <clears throat> bruh, man, we got to stop doing this type of stuff. But yeah, so beware of scams. Beware of scams on dating sites, especially because if you're meeting up with these people, man, a lot worse could have happened to her than just having some money taken out.